I'm Art Antrim, Chicago Wolves TV special correspondent here as we're supporting Movember at the Chicago Wolves practice facility in Hoffman Estates. Now we're checking in on the guys for the first time who are supporting the efforts of Movember. Darren, let's be serious, okay? This mustache, is it? does it compare at all to your 08 Calder Cup championship mustache? Uh, not a chance for whatever reason. It's, uh, it's not growing this year, but I did give the guys an eight-day head start, so I think that uh, I'm catching up to a few of them, but I don't think I'll catch up to Mancari. As one of the younger guys on the team, you know, well, how do you think your stash adds, you know, adds up with the guys? I think mine's coming in pretty nice. You know, like I said, it's something you can't control, but uh, you know, I'm pretty fortunate to have a, a sexy-looking stash, we'll say. I would have to say that this is a pretty stylish way, if you will, to raise some money and bring some attention to a great cause. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Oh, absolutely. I, I, it's more than raising funds for the cause. I think it's uh, raising awareness uh, for, for the cause. It, it's a great thing, and it's kind of a fun thing. It's uh, You can walk some friends with it. I think it's a great the way it started off with some guys hanging around a bar talking about how we're going to raise funds. And I think the word on the street is I look a little creepy with it, but you know what? If anybody notices and, and has a comment about it, then it opens conversation for what it is, uh, what the cause is, and, the, and they raise awareness for uh, prostate and testicular cancer. Several members of the Wolves front office joined the hockey operations staff and the Wolves broadcast team in support of the team's efforts to promote the cause. After casting votes online, fans were able to vote for three finalists for Mr. Movember at a Chicago Wolves home game. We're back here at Hoffman Estates for the second time checking in on our three finalists, Darren Hadar, Mark Mancari, and Nathan Longpre. You were kind of a, a come from behind uh, champion this time because Mancari, as we talked about, almost had this thing the whole way through. He was leading the votes and you stole it away at the end. How does it feel to take it away from a guy with such a strong stash? Well, I think in, in all the comebacks in my career, or all the victories in my career, I think this has got to be up there. I thought he had this one won and I thought he was, he was going to be crowned the champion, but Fortunately for myself, I got a lot of followers and a lot of fans behind me, and I'm, I'm happy to do so. I think you've earned that respect in your time here with the Wolves, so we'll see what Mark has to say about it, however. Hey, he's got, uh, he's got about three more years of catching up to do if he wants to get in the good books of the Wolves fans. So, hey, if he can do it, great, but just happy that all the guys on the team were willing to uh, contribute to, to raising awareness for this, uh, for this cause and for men's health. So, Mark, it, at first we thought you were going to be the champion of this, uh, but we've heard that Darren Hadar has swept in and stolen the victory out of your hands. Uh, tell me how you feel about that. That's all right. He's been here for a while. He's got a lot of fans. I don't like it too much. I don't like him that much. So, um, no, it's great. I mean, he's been here for a while. He's got a lot of fan support. So it's not about who wins. It's about the cause. So, Nathan, you were the sleeper of the competition. Did you expect to make it in? And uh, what, what do you think about your mustache gave you the, the leg up on a lot of the uh, you know your teammates? I had no idea. I was uh, in, the, in the running for this. Um, I guess I have some fans <laughs> that like this stash. Um, as soon as this is over, I'm going to shave it. <laughs> Here are the spoils of your victory. Here's a t-shirt for you. Thank you. 